Ron, let's start, therefore, with you. In the past, when individual stocks have gone through these kinds of large single or multi-day declines like this, what has it said about what's next in the overall market or the underlying health of the overall market? Yeah, you know, Tyler, it's interesting you bring that up because uh, one of my early teachers, John Bollinger, who created, uh, in, in technical terms, the, the Bollinger Bands, which have been so useful as a trading tool over the year, years, taught me that, you know, volatility in individual stocks often presages uh, volatility in the overall market. And so I think, yeah, the, the types of swings that we're getting uh, may not be healthy. You also have a market that, for all intents and purposes, particularly these companies that we've seen move so much, were priced for perfection and levered to a zero interest rate environment. So I think as all that begins to change, and my thesis stays the same, that Main Street's going to have a better year than Wall Street, I, I think you know we're in for some, some really choppy trading and more of these types of swings, given that this morning's data also support a less friendly Fed going forward. Basically, what I'm hearing you say here is that the swings have been so great in part because the prices and the valuations were so high. Uh, Jim Paulson, Ron, in the Chiron we just saw there, said a 20 to 25 percent pullback in the S&P is by no means out of the question, maybe even thinks it's a likelihood. Do you? I don't. I, um, I mean, it certainly could happen. There's no doubt about that. We're way overdue for a correction. But I think we've been having a correction, more or less, uh, Tyler, since September. Uh, we've had three little ones, if you will, and this one a little bigger. Um, and I, I just think there's three really nice support systems here under the stock market. The biggest one is fundamentals. As Ron said, this morning's job report uh, just shows how strong fundamentals are in the economy. And uh, I think there's, uh, you know, real earnings uh, are going to probably go up again this year. And in the Historically, whenever real earnings rise, the stock market does really well, even if even during Fed tightening periods. Secondly, I, I think bond yields at sub 3% 10 year yields. If you go back to 1950, when, we, when we've been below a 3% yield, which is still a long ways from here, uh, the stock market does almost twice as well as it does the rest of the time, and it goes down less frequently. So a sub-3% treasury is an absolute gift to investors. There's many a future of past generation that love to trade places with us for the right to invest in that environment. And then lastly, I think consumer confidence, which is lower by things I've looked at, uh, lower than about 90% of the time since the 1950s right now, despite a two-year massive economic recovery and a rising stock market, um, and I think there's a good bet that they're fearful of inflation and COVID. And both of those, I think, have good odds of improving this year. COVID moving to endemic, inflation rolling over a little bit. And if confidence does rise, I think we're going to see uh, that run right through the economy, but also right mm -hmm. through the stock. So I, I still think we're going to end higher on the year. Right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.